For those of you who do not know, who have not been a 12 hour, it has become 12 hour tradition, and it happened by complete accident, that during 12 hour we watch very terrible movies, usually non-copyrighted parody films. It legit happened on accident. Um, like, yeah, I think in January of 2020, when I saw this movie Food Fight randomly on YouTube and uploaded it. Uh, we have done 28 of these shit films so far. The ones we have done are Food Fight, Little Panda Fighter, Tappy Toes, four, all four Cars Life films, Ratatouille, uh, B-Movie 2 Electric Boogaloo, uh, Charlotte's Web parody, A Racist Up parody, The Incredible Bulk, Madagascar Over the Hedge movie, which for some reason was an hour and 40 minutes, Cargo, which is my favorite, uh, and fucking Bugs Life parody, this was on Day 1000 actually, Never Penguins movie, Kung Fu Panda 4, Shark Exorcist, Titanic, uh, Grandma Ruins Christmas, the Little Cars films, which uh, we have done five of so far, um, Mario getting cucked by a dog, Monsters vs. Aliens, and Chuck E. Cheese the movie. Uh, you notice we've done five Little Cars films, and there are eight in total. <laughs> so today, we are going to watch... Number six. First story is Formula, Formula One. One. What's up, chat up Just in time. Rodopolis is going to hold a Formula One race. Oh, my God. Mm. Check this out, Tony. Formula One. What do you think? I used to love watching Formula One when I was a kid. You know, when I had lower mileage. Damn. You did? So did I. Every Sunday I would be parked in front of the TV. That's Just the normal amazed. thing you do every 12 hour, yep. I actually felt to be able to race in one. I was inspired to become a race car from watching it too. It's always been my dream to compete in Formula One. But that would be <laughs> do impossible, it Tony. Him. Only Formula One cars are allowed to compete in those types of races. No Next shit. thing you'll tell me is that you want to compete in a Formula K race. And that race is only for pickups. I'm not serious, Combo. It was just a silly dream I had as a kid. The important thing is that this weekend, for the very first time, a big Formula One race is finally coming to Rhodopolis. I know. And we're not going to miss it. You said that like it's six times. Impossible. That'll be the last time I send for something by boat. A little shipping trouble? I've been waiting for precious cargo to arrive from Europe, but there seems to be some kind of problem at the port. Well, what's in the shipment? Various car parts for the Formula One race this Sunday. The team's hired us to get their equipment here before they arrive, but it's been delayed. Oof. I see. And you think it won't show up? That's what I'm The animation's about. a little bit better. The race is only two days away, and without that shipment, there won't be a race at all. Oh, God. Wait, who is that? Gee, Uncle. I went to the racetrack to reassure Michael Chimasa like you asked me to. Michael but he Chimasa. wanted to speak to you in person, so I brought him here. Hi, everyone. I wanted to come by and check on the status of our equipment from Europe. I'm worried about it. Duh, you worried? Why would you I'm be worried, worried about it? Mr. V8, maybe you haven't heard, but there's something strange happening behind the scenes at Formula One. Oh, no. Exactly. Corruption? Seems like someone's trying to sabotage the race. Ugh. Just last month, the company that shipped the equipment for Brabham team disappeared, and a whole shipment of tires vanished with it. Well, Only last week, Team Maclora lost all their spare parts and up. had to bow out. That is strange, but that might explain why your shipment hasn't arrived at the port yet. Bad, Gary. What do you mean? The parts we ordered are missing? He didn't mean that. But there's no reason to worry. We're on top of it. I wouldn't be so sure that it was that, fucking Hamilton. All this sneaky stuff Chumasa is telling us. I've got a funny feeling about that shipment. I think we should investigate. <laughs> Zoom out. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh Those yeah. Were picked up by someone yesterday. I remember they were over there. They took off and left the container. Well, why'd you let them? Idiot. That's strange. Tobias wouldn't pick a shipment up without coming right back. Well, maybe he just got lost. No, I doubt it. 
He may be a little slow, but he knows his way around Rhodopolis. You're one to talk. What do you mean, slow? That guy was a real speed demon. He tore out of here so fast, he frightened the boats. Maybe Tobias was in a rush, because he knew the shipment was important. Or maybe it oh, wasn't that Tobias. feeling again, and why would he leave the container behind? I don't know, figure it out. Maybe he forgot? No chance, Combo. This box doesn't have the Chumasa team logo on it. He left so his maybe porn it's the in there. One. Well, whatever happened to it, we better go back and tell Chumasa. Yo, she thinks you're kissing Dean up with up. Wait a minute, what? There's a dude in there! Hold up. Hey guys, I think. Oh, never mind. Eda, thank you for follow. Out there! Come on, help! Get me out of here! They left a dude in there! Oh man, I don't know what we're gonna do. Without those spare parts, there's no way we can run in the Formula One race. Can't we just get you other parts? No, all of our parts are custom made. I just don't get it. Who would want to sabotage Team Chumasa? Beats the oil out of me, but it must be the same car that's been doing it to everyone. I bet you it's some loser trying to take revenge on all of the winning cars. I bet you it's Hamilton. You remember what that supervisor at the port said about the car that picked up the shipment yesterday? Uh, yeah, he said he was speeding around in a hurry. That's ridiculous! Tobias is the slowest car in town. A bike could outrace him. Bruh, why you gotta Let's roast him like port. that? <laughs> Are you sure we're doing the right thing, Tony? Yes, we <laughs> this mystery and we're running out of time. The way he just scares at him. Empty container we saw this afternoon. No, it's not. There's a dude in there. What makes you think it's empty? Oh, hey, someone's in here. Oh, terrific. The port is haunted. I told you this wasn't such a good idea. I told you it's ghosts. Hate to tell you, that's no ghost combo. There's someone inside. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I thought you guys would never show up. Tobias, all this time, you the, the music. Shipment? Of course not, Combo. How'd you get locked inside the container? Not really, Jeff. I got here to pick up the shipment, and I saw this huge container was open. There was a sign that said, "Please this music's sign so the dramatic. register book inside." When I drove into it, the door closed. Whoa! An ingenious trap. <laughs> no, it's you not. Still He's just an idiot. Parts, and we don't have any leads. <laughs> Tobias, did did you hear anything in there? My guy All said, I heard "Ingenious." Was a motor revving up, and the sound of a car peeling out. Vroom. This is definitely the work of our mysterious saboteur. I have no idea who it is, but I don't suspect any of my opponents. I bet you. But it must be one of them. There's nobody new on the circuit? Maybe some suspicious looking lowrider or brash young hot rod? No Where's combo. Mr. Ink when All you need him? All the other cars are good friends of mine. I simply can't imagine one of them doing this. Well, we'll just have to keep digging till we're able to find out. But what should I do? If I sit this race out, I can forget the championship. I just can't win without those parts. Okay, Speed Don't Racer. Don't Leave it all to us. Don't give up? What do you mean? The race is in four hours. <laughs> well, stop getting aggressive. Not the zoom out. Okay. It was for Stefan. Well, you're not gonna believe this, but guess who managed to escape from prison for the seventh time this year? Too bad he just got nabbed. The fuck? After being on the road oh, for three shit. Months, the elusive Victor is back behind bars. That Victor just never learns. Hmm, he was up to no good, I'm Whatever. sure. I he thought his name was Wrangler. Garage, probably planning his next heist. One crook is bad enough, but now we've got another one on Did our they change his name? sabotaging the Formula One. Chumasa doubts it's another racer, so that rules out someone on a different team. Victor, I think they changed his name. He's running out for the poor deer. Oh, poor Chumasa. Oh, how I'd love to see the cops lead that saboteur away and handle cuffs. The ball's in our court now. The police Jiggity. are too preoccupied with making sure Victor doesn't escape from prison again. Bro, there's like one this whole police thing officer. Is making me nervous. V8 deliveries will get a bad reputation out of this debacle, and my business will be in ruins. No, no, Uncle. We can no. still solve this mystery. There's still time. Well, good luck, but I got a plan for the worst. If you don't solve it, the bad publicity will put us in bankruptcy. My continuity.
Hey, Chumasa, you expecting to take first place today? I don't have a chance. I don't even have a spare tire. You mean your friends haven't found your equipment yet? No, I think I reached the end of my luck. Here we are warming up. The race begins in an hour, and I have no idea how this is going to turn oh, out. Oh, this is the warm up? Ugh, I give up. We drove all over town, but we're not getting anywhere. I'm right there with you. It's pretty pointless. I just don't Let's give up. If there's not one jealous racer in the bunch, I guess that means we don't even have a suspect. Oh, hang on a minute, Combo. Maybe we've just been going about this all wrong. We are? What do you mean? Come on, Tony. There's right, obviously right, so. a no good rotten thief behind all these shenanigans. That's Maybe it's not you. what I was saying. What I'm saying is the saboteur isn't a racer. So you think it's someone else? You think it's someone we know? It's the police. Oh. Like Victor? Well, why not? He was allegedly missing for three straight months. Let's go to that old warehouse where the newspaper said the cops found him. Let's hurry. The race is going to start. Is going to start? I was still hoping somehow they'd find those spare parts in time. And it's an exciting start to the Formula One. Why put your boss as your favorite to win it all? What do you mean in time? Didn't they just start? This is it. Now be very careful. Victor may have set a trap for any intruders. Over there! Let's check out that- His room. name's not even Victor! You changed his name! My continuity re! This must be the shipment! That scoundrel! I just knew Victor was somehow involved. But what do you think he's planning to do? I honestly couldn't say. Guys, take a look at this! Get a load of this! Ah, it's all coming together. Ah, yes! The blueprint! He was planning a few modifications <laughs> to turn himself into a Formula One racer! And then no one would recognize him, and better still, he'd have no trouble evading the police. My perfectly laid plans! Let's hurry up and get all these spare parts over to the racetrack, pronto! But how are we gonna carry all of these boxes? <laughs> Every car except Chumasa has made a pit stop to Juna! Is this a strategic move on his part? Now what the heck am I gonna do? My tires are almost bald! If I don't get them changed soon, I'm sure to have a blowout! Stop talking to yourself, you weirdo! I didn't carry anything ever. Yep, and Chumasa looks like he's in big trouble. Everything's here, gang. Tell Chumasa to make a pit stop. Attention, Chumasa. Pit This'll stop. cheer you up. Your spare parts finally arrived. Hey, Tony. How does it feel to see one of these races up close and personal? You know, Combo, it's a heck of a lot more exciting than watching it on TV. Is it, though? Did he make the pit oh, stop? Chris. You might just put a few ideas in Tony's head. Hey, you guys. Well, how do you My victory again? belongs to you. If it wasn't for all your support, I never would have become champion. I owe you big time. Come okay, on, Hamilton. Chumasa. We did it for the sport of racing. Besides, I always no, wanted didn't. to be in a Formula One race. And in a funny way, I feel like I played a big part in this one. No, uh, sorry, Tony. Too bad you're a different model in a different category. <laughs> Damn. That be true. <laughs> fucking got him. Today, I think Tony may become a Formula One champion. Too bad you're oh. fucking inferior. I see what you mean. Aw, oh, Chumasa, you're gonna make him blush. What the hell, man? Okay, the sending off. Fuck it, next sending one. Sending off. Send off these nuts. And the champion Might be high for But will there be enough time? What an exciting race, don't you think? Yeah, I guess it's exciting. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Fuck you. Hang on, folks. By the looks of things, it's gonna be a tight finish. Two run out no, it's not. The, race. the champ tries to pass Tony, but Tony gives it some gas. Here comes Champ on the inside. Tony closes the gap, but Champ won't be denied. It's a thrill-a-minute race as Champ and Tony are neck and neck. They're coming down the stretch now. Aren't they the, the same team? Signals the end of the race. It's the Champ by a nose. Better luck next time, Tony. And the champ racks up another impressive win in his illustrious career. Outstanding. It was an honor to come in second, sir. Congrats. 
It was just an honor for me to come. Be able to catch you. No, you're just being modest. Everyone knows you're the champ. Yeah, but I hear you're doing really well in this competition. Good luck. You might still win it yet. But he already won. I'm sure I've got that many miles left in me. Be a dope ass PS1 game. Congrats to you both. You're a real dynamic duo out there. Crazy fun to watch. Yeah, it was some race, all right. Who's that guy in the hat? <laughs> I just knew you'd win the race, champ. Who are you? I just knew you would. This is Bill. Oh. He showed up right after you won first place, champ. Yeah. You I just let him you. in. You're uh, Bill. Uh, uh. Bill Dynamo. I'm the president of your fan club. Oh. Ah, yes, that's it. That's right. Hey, I must bring you good luck because whenever I come to a race, you always win. Well, Tony's gonna assassinate that guy, bro. Because my friend Tony here beat me a couple of you're times. He's done. Coming along. <laughs> oh yeah? I didn't know that. So you're saying Tony's a racer too? Why, of course. No you're shit. Looking at the next champion. Did you watch the race? There can't be a next champion. You're the only champion <laughs> around here. You still got a chance to win this thing, and I know you can do it. Bro, this Sadly, guy's gonna get assassinated. Every old champion must step aside and make way for the new one. That's Tony. Bummer. It's a real shame, but it doesn't matter because you'll always be champion to me. <laughs> what is um, that? Could I get your autograph? Oh. <laughs> awesome. For my collection. Thank you. I'd like to suggest you ask Tony for his autograph. He's the future of racing. Uh, no thanks. I'm good. <laughs> Damn. Bro, Tony's just getting big league Sorry today. About that, Tony, you know how picky fans can get. Oh, I'm all right with it. Well, I'm not. What an impolite little jerk that Coop is. Yeah. Does he think Tony is some kind of amateur? Yes. No respect at all. <laughs> now, combo, take it easy. Since you're here anyway, would you mind if I asked you for a little favor? But of course. Assassinate that kid. If you happen to see Simone later, ask her if she can set up a team meeting sometime in the afternoon. I'd appreciate it. Just leave it to me. Team meeting? For what? I'd like to make an announcement. Announcement? An announcement about what? Curiosity killed the cat. Just come to the meeting and you'll find out. We have a meeting in the parking lot? Hello, gentlemen. Have you seen Champ around? Um, oh, hi, Simone. He's gonna retire? Well, yeah, probably. Uh, how's tricks? Champ went back inside the stadium. He said he wants you to set up a team meeting later today. You mean with everyone? I'll go round him up. Why did she set up the meeting? She's the new. retire? No, it's probably not that important. He Does the champ have the news in his again. pocket? He's very excited. That's you know, some it's lore. Been a really long time since he's won a championship. Uh, of course I am. Hey, are you insinuating something about champion? Me? No, I wasn't. It's just a fact that he happens to be... He's the best racer any of us have ever seen. You should be ashamed of yourself for talking trash about him. Bro, trash? kill this guy. You're talking Whoa. about... Hey, I think you've got the wrong idea about my friend. And you. So you think that winning a few races here and there makes you a champ like him? You're a joke, Tony. Hey. Look, buddy, Bro, is this I think Twitter? you're grabbing the wrong end of the dipstick. I don't oh. want to hear any more trash talk about champion. Got hey, it? Or you'll friend. do what? I have a lot of respect for him. He's taught me a ton about racing. And you'd just love to take his place. Fuck. Hey, why the long face? Are you upset because this time you didn't win the race? No, that's just no, how he looks. It's something else. I think I know what it must be. You're upset because I wasn't able to visit. Oh, I'm sorry I couldn't go, but there was no way I could break away. Uncle V8 gave me a mountain of work to do. Like what? What do you do? And just because you're my girlfriend, that doesn't mean I expect you to skip work to watch me race. I wouldn't make I've never actually like seen that. her do work. And I've seen so six of these. Tell me what's bothering you. Maybe I can help, huh? Well, after the race, one of Champ's fans came by to see him. 
That's nice. I'm sure he was thrilled. He was Only happy <laughs> to see the champ, all right, but he got all up in my windshield Only cars. and accused me of trying to take the old guy's place. You're gonna let silly stuff like that get you down? I guess I am, Chris. Oh, there's nothing worse than letting racetrack gossip get I guess get I am. Nerves. One day the fans are telling you they can't stand you, and the next day you'll be the idol of millions. It's yeah, so Twitter. It's meaningless. Just forget about it. Well, Chris, this one little boy was really upset with me, but there's gonna be a team meeting this afternoon. Just kill him. Maybe I can straighten things out then. Why would the kid be at the team meeting? What? Who let him in? The first thing I want to do, champ, is congratulate you on that splendid victory this morning. Ah, uh, you're too kind. Who let him in this just meeting? Just kind of lucky. We don't need to make too much out of it. You don't need to be so modest, champ. You were just fantastic. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Thank you. But that's not why I actually called this. Bagels, how you doing? You see, there comes a time in every champion's career when they, they, they. <clears throat> you see? Just spit it out, champ. <sighs> How do I put this? You... You all need to realize that there comes a time when an old racer needs his, uh... Needs a change of tires. Aww! You brought us all here to show off some nifty new tires, huh? <laughs> okay, let's see them! <laughs> show them! No, combo. Show the tires, no, you bitch! Tires, silly. You see, even the most powerful <laughs> Yoshi, thank you for getting the bagel stuff. I spoke with my and bagel. Thank you for following. Yeah. What didn't you, Bill? Oh, just time. You just. Champ, just come right. No combo. It's a oh, metaphor, yeah. not new tires, silly. You see, even the most powerful engines need to slow down after a while. Champ, just come right out and say it. Don't beat around the bush about Stop it. Stop rushing I'm, him, you asshole. I'm retiring. Yay! What? You, you can't. We're right in the middle of a championship. Champion, you can't quit on us now. You still have a chance to win. You can't let all your fans down like this. You just can't. It's not fair. <laughs> oh, Bill, calm down. It's no big deal. It's just time for me to stop. I'm at retirement age, and I'd rather hand my legacy over to Tony. He deserves it. Does the team director know about this? Nah. I spoke with my good friend Paul Dopolis <laughs> yesterday, and he's behind me. Paul Dopolis! I can stay on with the team as a technical advisor. Oh boy, it'll be great to have someone with your expertise to help out all the new cars. I bet you're real happy, huh? Yeah. Got what you wanted, didn't you? Yeah. Bill, try and understand. Bill. I still love racing. Shut the fuck up. I understand. You turned your back on the fans. See oh, around. sucking dick, Bill. To that kid to make him hate me. Don't let it bother you, Tony. Fans can get emotional. Oh, I sort of feel bad for the guy. Yeah, he's hardcore butter. Oh, I don't. Old. Yeah, me neither. He's right. Fans are so melodramatic. But the real question is, why did you decide this now, right after your big win? Simone, the decision was already made. I promised myself one more victory lap before I made oh, my well, retirement so. official. It just took until yesterday's win for me to earn that final victory, you see? But you've still got it. Look, I've had a great run and I've chalked up a lot of trophies. But I think it's time to pull over and let some young racers strut their stuff like Tony. Hey, I think it's safe to say he's going to be the next champ. No, you'll Imagine. always be the champ of Rhodopolis. That's the end. What should I do? What you have been doing. What Just the fuck? <laughs> and bring it on home on lap number three. Okay? Put sunglasses gotcha. on. Thanks for the advice, sir. Now, go on out there and use what you've learned. What the fuck? Those are his retirement sunglasses. Hey, Tony. There was some little car looking for you. Tobias? Nah, I think it was one of your fans. My fans? Hey, I've been looking for you, pal. Who let you on the racetrack? Look, I already know you don't like me, kid. What do you mean, Tony? I'm your biggest fan. I just started your official fan club and everything. I'm here to bring you good luck. Bro, the race is about to start. Get out of the way. Tony, the champ. That's it? 
that's it? He just turns face and that's the end? Where's the fucking security? <laughs> All right, Jesus Christ. Flying what? Tires. Oh. <laughs> Tony? It certainly is a beautiful sight, Chris. I brought you out here to you know, murder you. I don't think I've seen Combo all day. Have you heard from him? <laughs> I did, Tony. He said he was testing out new supercharged gasoline for the big race and just didn't have any free time. <laughs> okay. I guess he Full must one be race. Who cares? Truck heaven now. He gets some new gasoline and then we hardly ever see him. Hey, you guys. Have you seen anything strange out here? I'm on the hunt for some juicy stories for an article I'm writing about unidentified flying objects. Oh, Mother, God. You used to be a serious journalist. Nobody believes in flying <laughs> tires. Wrong, Tony. I certainly do. Obviously, you've you changed, heard about Simone. Exciting. Several cars in Rhodopolis swear they saw tire tracks in the sky last night. That's awesome. I wish we could see them. I wish we could see them, Tony. Why is the music so dramatic? Probably have some screws loose. You still might see them, Chris. In the cornfield. They buy the Pirates of the Caribbean the soundtrack? Fields. There are some mighty mysterious markings out there. Some scientists say there isn't a car on the planet that can make designs with such precision. Oh god, he be zooming! The vegetation Yo! <laughs> delicious mystery. For realsies? Flying tires in Rhodopolis? Did she just say for realsies? Yeah, it sounds like it's right from Hollywood. <sighs> oh, 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 hey. Uh, what, what's up? What are you guys? I've got Whoa. a lead on a major story. Horrible aliens have landed in Rhodopolis. You girls are running low on oil if you think there's anything to this tripe. Agreed. Well, that's what I get for taking oh a my break God. from doing my exercises to see what's two, cooking. Two. I have absolutely no idea what the heck you're talking about. So excuse me while I get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> so what's his problem? He's been testing. I gotta go round up my camera crew for what all the night in the cornfield. See ya. See you around. You just cut her off! That sounds like fun. Tony, can we go? No way. Don't even think about it. Aw, come on, please. Fucking Why? rude. No, I'm not gonna be up all night waiting around for a UFO. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Just look at the vast heavens above us. It is amazing, isn't it? I'm convinced that there must be other cars out there in the universe. There's life on other planets, Tony. What was that? Did you hear what I heard? Relax, Chris. It's probably nothing. It's probably the Zambies. Aha! Uh -huh. I see another extraterrestrial seeker, huh? You out here hunting UFOs? Uh, 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 hi there. Oh, little Get out of there, kid. You helping to see some flying tires Fucking tonight? Drone Don't be such a bad influence on the poor boy. Who watches this? Chris, us. How many times do I have to <laughs> That's who watches flying this. Flying tires aren't real. What are you talking about? I saw them with my own headlights. I'm waiting for the mothership to come back to this spot. The mothership, That's brother. Incredible. The brothership. Like? Were they tall or low riders or convertibles? Tell me. Ay ay ay. This can't be happening. Well, the flying tires been incredible. Oh fast, shit. And all these sparkling tread marks in the sky. They're able to float real close to the ground and throw their lights in any directions. Get out of here, really? Isn't that far out, Tony? Could you even imagine such a thing? I don't have the imagination you have, Chris. It's like bad. <laughs> I know the sky texture right, is incredible. Guys, I need some Where did you come from? You saw him. Me, and they're incredibly super fast, and they have big lights on them and everything. Now, come on, Chris. That's not what you saw. In fact, we haven't seen anything out here yet. Yeah, true. Uh, actually was that little coop who saw the aliens he can tell you bro she just tried to take his credit in front of his salad like what the fuck great on camera now kid stay on my tail come on she just tried to jack his shit jesus there's the pirates of the caribbean soundtrack again <laughs> they're just going all slow oh my god Bro, those are some huge ass cornfields. Ah, yes. The titties. So tell me, <laughs> did you see what made those patterns down below? Of 
course I do. What is I happening? I know how they do it too. They come in real low, but they never land. They like to maneuver their tires over a special spot they've chosen. When they spin around, everything underneath them starts spinning around too. But, but why? Super respectful like, and they never destroy anything. They just yeah. did destroy something. Have you ever seen anything so otherworldly? They destroyed, they destroyed the crops. What do you mean? <laughs> Hey, gang! Where did you come from? A little late for a stroll in the park, don't you think? I'm only here because I'm testing the supercharged gasoline. It's so supercharged, I'm not able to stop. <laughs> but you guys, what you doing? He's literally We're on drugs. for aliens. The flying tires are making contact with us. Me? I've seen nothing but stars. Same. I saw them. I saw everything, and they're really here. I think you guys woke up on the wrong side of the lift this morning and tanked up on antifreeze. It's all wow. a little too crazy for my taste. See ya. Meep, meep. Well, I guess we're not going to see anything tonight. Didn't He's I tell dead. you that they took me up with them? The flying tires. Really? Hmm. Hey, let the little Stop Stops anyway, all right. It was on my own. You see, I'm not afraid of nothing. Know what I mean? When suddenly I saw a giant light right above me, it was a flying tire. It shot out a tunnel of light, and I was sucked up into it. I the have seen it, Greta, yeah. I can't imagine how many nebulous stars, planets. And they even show me a black hole. Nobody's allowed to park in them, so the thing is, what we had to do, it was kind of really cool. Tire tracks in the sky and on the ground. After a night of searching, still no proof. We're left with the age-old question. Comics are we really alone? dollars a word. Are there really aliens? Are we really the only intelligent cars living in the universe? You're not intelligent. This is Simone reporting. There's no for intelligent now. cars in the Back universe. To you. Good night, guys. Mm. We stayed up all night, but there's still no proof. Ugh, I'm starting to get a little tired too. Maybe go to I'll bed, stick idiot. For a while longer before heading home. If I see anything, I'll let you know. Where are your parents? Good night, sweetheart. Thank you for telling me about those wonderful and fantastic aliens. Too bad we didn't see them. Oh boy, here they come, the fucking aliens. Chris, you know I don't believe a word of that kid's story, right? Neither oh, do I. Please, Tony, haven't you made me feel silly enough for one night? Don't no. be mean to me. That's not what I was getting at. I was just gonna say that even though I don't believe in flying tires, I really enjoyed oh. spending all that time with you. Aw, Tony, you're such a sweetie. Is it daytime now? And you want to know something? I don't feel so alone in the universe with my super boyfriend by my side. That's cringe. Yeah, I agree. Perfect. I don't think anyone figured me out. Too bad I didn't get any information about those crop circles from my intergalactic news report. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> what do you do be zooming? Oh, so they were different aliens. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you did call it. This gas is amazing. I'll be sure to win the next race. I could keep circling that racetrack forever. Jesus Christ, bro. Destruction of property. Oh God. It's so green up here. Look at all the trees. Great commentary. You're absolutely correct, my little sweetie. I never would have thought that just a few hours outside of the city there'd be so much peace and quiet and that the view would be so beautiful. You guys haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> Just when you get to the farm, you're gonna see a sunset that'll stay in your headlights as long as you live. Take it to the it stairs. Must be gorgeous on the farm at night. 
Oh yeah, so relaxing. Oh yeah. And the stars? Oh goodness, all of those stars! We'll have to sit outside, fill our tanks, and gaze at the night sky when we get there. I barely what do you got against gays? attention to the stars at night in Rhodopolis, sad to say. Don't worry, Tony, because you're going to see all the constellations at the farm tonight. You'll see. <laughs> oh, it sounds so romantic, doesn't it, Tony? I just think we'll have to take a moonlight cruise through the woods. You and I, just the pair of us. They're going to fuck. Yeah, Chris, that sounds like fun. <clears throat> oh god. Please give them bad southern accents. Please, 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 Hi, please, 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 please. From the city. Bad I southern accent, come on. Come on, nice come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's sure a mind yeah! be a combo. Life on the farm is about as far away from city life as you can get. And gosh, gee willikers, why do you see the stars <laughs> at night? Yeah, we heard. So what should we do first? We can explore the nearby old abandoned mine. That's exactly oh, what I boy, wanted. Have you forgotten how dangerous <laughs> that mine shaft is? Yeah! Oh, for you to worry about. I know this neck of the woods like the tread on my tires. Golly but gee, Willie. Mine doesn't sound like my cup of tea. I think I'll just stay around here and relax some. Um. Combo, I'd be happy to tag along with you. I'm sure it'll be quite an adventure. Well then, boys, I'll put together a real tasty lunch for you. Chris, want to help out? Why, I'd be delighted. I'm great in the kitchen. I bet. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this is it, Tony. It's a tunnel that leads to a secret passage Imagine that to an old abandoned gold mine. Oh, I can buy gold. Can we same. go on inside? Of course we can. When I was a little pickup truck, I'd come here every day. I want to warn you though, it's really dirty down there. We'll need a pack I used to jack off in there. Back to take a bath. A bath? Well, the dirt inside the mine can get caught up in your suspension. I'm sure you'll see what I mean. That's no dirt. Is that it? Oh. After you, partner. I really think you should go first. Wow, it looks great in here. I'm saying, how, how, how. Is this ZZ Top? Take a look at this, Tony. Bro, this is totally ZZ Top. Oh my god. The graffiti proves I was here. Well, oh. which of these tunnels Oh, I thought it was cave drawings. <laughs> I remember that all these tunnels used to be boarded up. Why, why? I guess these wooden planks haven't stood the test of time, huh? Right? So what you're saying is you never really went into these tunnels at all? A.A. Bottom. Nope, never did. I'll do it now for when it. When I was a kid, I'd play inside here. You know, the entrance. But I'd I never play with myself inside here, tunnels. too. Well, which one do you think looks like it'd be the most fun? I think this one here. This is the fuck tunnel. Let's do it. You the man. <laughs> I think I'm beginning to have second thoughts about all this. Well, this tunnel has to end eventually. Come on, Tony. We've been in here for more than two hours. You the man. Don't you think we should turn around and It's go been back? two hours? Maybe we ended up going down the wrong passageway. All right, just a little further. We can't give up now, right? Time doesn't matter. Oh, is that his jizz? Tony. Do you see what I see? You think it's gold? It's just beats the oil out of me. I don't think I'm even sure what gold looks like. It's as bright as the stars in the sky. It really is, isn't it? Just look at all those wonderful gold nuggets. <gasps> and look at the coal around it. It kind of looks like stars and meteorites. <laughs> Not like any kind of coal I've ever seen before. Not that I've seen coal before. Let's take a few of these pieces from this magic grotto back to the farm with us. Magic Grotto? Heck yeah! When I was a kid, there was a local legend about a mystical magic grotto hidden away in these tunnels. What is where going on? With Why is there a shining music in the background? Coal that could cure anything wrong with your motor. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's load up with this stuff. Maybe we can help someone. That's a good idea, yeah. Then we'll find out where this tunnel really leads to. Yeah, just fade the black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yippee! Oh boy! Yeah, awesome! 
Who'd have ever thought there'd be so many cool things tucked away in that abandoned mine? How the fuck? <laughs> That toboggan ride was pretty outrageous, huh? Why did you show it? I told you I grew up in a really cool town, didn't I? Plenty of room for adventure, right? You said it. This place is amazing. Let's hurry and get back to the farm, but first we have to stop out the good timing. so we can rinse all this dirt off. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm covered in coal dust, and I wouldn't want to worry Chris. And I'd get an earful for my grandmother, just like in the old days. Speaking of which, they've probably got lunch ready, and I'm starving, so let's get a move on. I want to see their faces when we show them the magic coal and all this gold. I'm sure they'll be speechless. <laughs> I'm sure they won't give a shit. Yeah, they got cheats on. So you're telling me that old wives' tale about gold <laughs> in them thar hills is true? I thought it was a legend. Land sakes, we never believed those old mines would have anything left in them ever since. Since they shut down many, many years ago, and nobody got ever shit on his head. gold or magic coal inside. The town know, decided to block the entrance to the tunnels because they'd be a dangerous temptation to young folks. They sure are mighty dangerous, yeah. Made me want to turn back several times. And I bet Tony wanted to keep on going just a little bit further, didn't he? Chris, you know me all too well. No, you but you'll never guess what we found there, believe it or not, the magic grotto! We found it inside one of the tunnels down in the mine. And then we jerked each other off in there. Many years ago, folks talked about an old miner that was said to be 400 years old and had some. It's not gay if you do it back to back. And people also said he reached that age without ever having to rebuild his engine. All he had to do was drink gasoline distilled from magic coal. And what happened to this old miner, Gramps? He left long ago, and we never saw him in these parts again. He's they dead. say he went to live with his daughter in another neck of the woods, but legend has it he took along a big load of that magic coal, enough for a few <laughs> generations. I bet he Folks did. Say it's because of his selfishness that I there's bet no he more did. magic coal around. Of course, what I'm telling you is all just a local legend. What are because you telling me? It was until today's events. Like, hey, what are you telling me? Why don't you try cooking your chocolate chip cookies with a little bit of that magic coal? See if it doesn't help that pain in your toe hook. Well, hey, why would you cook? See if that ain't a fine idea, Grandpa. You might have something there. I'll give it a try tonight. Let's see what it can do. If it all works like Grandpa said, Grandma, you can send Tony and me back to the mine to get some more. Sweet this home, time I'm Alabama. Go with you two guys, I might not like mines, but a magic grotto—that is just all kinds of awesomeness. Is that the end? Oh, God. Okay. Boys, I have to admit, I'm really impressed by your find. Here's even more fun up ahead. What did they find? Is it possible you're thinking what I'm thinking, Tony? We are on the same page. We are on the same page, a Scoob. We'll somewhere that's even more fun. What like a Scoob. Because the way out isn't the same way we came in. We've got a big surprise for you, young lady. Look, you guys. What? Really a big what? <laughs> oh, you love this one. What? This is so much fun. And I'm gonna make the biggest jump. Not if I can help it. <laughs> this time I'm gonna do it. Sure you will. <laughs> what the fuck is Whoa. happening? There's nothing like a super daredevil jump to help you readjust your brakes and balance your suspension. We figured out why no one's been able to follow the old miner's I'm trail. calling yeah, the police. Because he could sneak out the back way with a load of magic coal and no one would ever notice him. Oh, I bet. There's still plenty of magic coal left to help all the farmers in town. He just what farmers in what to town? So that no one would be able to find his stash of magic coal hidden away in that tunnel. Hey, we better head back to the farm before it starts to get dark. I wouldn't want Grandma to get worried about us. So, Grandma... Are you feeling any better now? Come on, <laughs> that magic coal cleared up that pain in my toe hook right quick. Hey, that's great. And before, I used to be leaking oil, but now not a single drop comes out. Then it works. <laughs> I noticed it right away. You look younger. Chris, my child, I never felt better. Honest. A lot of cars could really use this stuff, but how can we get this magic coal to everyone who needs it without them having to come here? Tony's right. Just fucking we need it to, him. to help them. I haven't got a single clue. We can make magic coal energy drinks from that old moonshine still my uncle used to have. <laughs> Why, I bet it has been used in 200 years. <laughs> I bet it still works. We can distribute energy drinks to everyone. And energy drinks. We'll put a little nugget of magic coal <laughs> to give the drinks an extra boost. We just need to figure out what to do with all that gold. 
Maybe we can use it to build a newfangled health spa on the mine. Well, the important a health thing spa? is that everyone now knows that magic coal isn't merely a myth. And they'll yes, it need is. that extra pep if they want to make that big jump at the end. And now we get the Looney Tunes music at the end. <laughs> Narrator slash nerd slash support! <laughs> what the fuck? Bro. Tony! They spelled it Tawny! Who the fuck is Tawny?